Well, I think one of the things that you have to be concerned about when you look at the overall situation with Sergeant Bergdahl and the Taliban release is, number one, that the president made a unilateral decision without any consult with the Congress. He basically, through an Article II signing statement, exempted himself from a measure that he had signed into law as part of the National Defense Authorization Act. And so, therefore, he went into negotiations with a non-state, non-uniform, belligerent uh, organization, a terrorist organization, and he basically, at a time at war of war when we're still fighting against the Taliban, he released the enemy, senior leadership of the enemy, back to the enemy. And now we come to find out this uh, trusting agreement he had with the Qataris is basically out the door because Reuters reported just recently that uh, the Qataris are not going to honor that, that these gentlemen, these five individuals are free to roam Qatar and they can also go back over to Afghanistan. So this is a big concern for us and we really have to wonder why would the administration come out on Saturday morning with this Rose Garden ceremony? Why would they bring Susan Rice out on a Another Sunday morning talk show, knowing the last time she came out on five Sunday talk shows, she did not comport herself very well. But it seems that this administration was in such a hurry to try to move beyond the VA scandal that they thought they had some kind of uh, good news story for the American people, and it turned out it backfired. And those of us within the uh, military circles, we have known the story behind uh, Bo Bergdahl's disappearance since 2009. We have known about the Pentagon report of 2010. And the truth was going to come out, even though they did make these uh, soldiers sign non-disclosure agreements. You know, um, Congressman, what I think is uh, rather disturbing is that uh, we get different reports from Capitol Hill. For instance, Senator Dick Durbin, Democrat of Illinois, just came out of the hearing a little while ago, and he said, he said, first of all, they looked at a proof of life video, and that had apparently some impact on the president's decision. But he also said some of what is reported in the press is not right. And the first thing I think of when I hear that is, well, why haven't you told us? It's Wednesday. This happened Saturday. We got bum information from, Secretary, from uh, Susan Rice on Sunday, where she gives us inconsistent information. It's like pulling teeth and then they have all these classified hearings they won't tell us anything and then they come out and say we have bum information well this is what i trust i trust the soldiers that were on the ground there when you hear from his uh, squad members from his platoon members exactly what happened when you hear from the families of soldiers that lost their lives doing search and recovery missions those are the that's the ground truth those are the people that we should be paying attention to and once again you have the obama administration which has dug itself into an even deeper uh, scandal and an even deeper hole and we're not even finding out about how many soldiers may have lost their lives and apprehending those five uh, senior members of the Taliban in the first place. Indeed, that, uh, and I hope that we will get more information. Actually, I'd like to hear from the president a little bit more. I'd like a press conference so we can get these facts out instead of this sort of uh, us trying to you know, yank out every little piece of information. Just give us the straight story. But uh, I'm not going to hold my breath waiting for that straight story on this one. But anyway, Congressman, thank you, sir. Thanks so much, Greta.